provide like a little bit of a, a pathway in the future for girls to come through local grassroots and be involved with our football club. Um, you know, we're looking to to really help the local community teams with our expertise, our coaches that we've got. What we're trying to do is to be like a community hub um, and get all different areas of of our community involved in the football club, um, whether it be walking football, women and girls, men's, children. Um, we're trying to put on lots of different events that will help people get involved in, in sport and activity at the ground. Uh, holiday camps and stuff where, where the girls can come in and get some extra coaching. Firstly, it's about the need of, of, of what we feel um, the community could benefit from. Um, and we've see, seen a real increase in sort of participation locally in girls and women's football um, and felt that we needed to do something to, to assist that. Um, and obviously there, there's grant funding out there, trying to uh, funding it out there, um, that allowed us to put this sort of event on. Um, as a football club, it's something that's really important to us. We want to have a, a, a women's and girls involvement and a pathway in the future. Um, and this is a really good um, way for us to facilitate it. We've been doing defending, attacking, fielding, and we've been working on possession. Um, I really like those because it gives me the chance to operate in those positions. Like, there was this one where we put two cones and we'd have to like quickly stop the ball from going through the cones while our partner kicked it. It's open and it's really good that everything is supposed to be where it is. It's brilliant training and you know what you're doing and everyone's welcome. So my favourite activity today has been my shooting drills. I like that we are using both part of our feet and we're learning new tactics. You have to try and flick it into this this hole. Um, yeah, and if you flick it into a hole, then um, you get a point. And first, you get five points for the best play. It's quite fun, probably because first of all, it challenged us. You never know what you're going to learn because every day is a new thing. So, different activities. One day you'll learn about how to save a goal, and another day you'll learn how to kick a ball. I enjoy playing football to get fit, and probably because having friends and just the enjoyment of the game and playing it really. Again. It gave us access to the funding, which is which is the main thing. Um, allowed us to get equipment, allowed us to pay our coaches, facility costs. Um, it's a good incentive because the Trident Fund is it is for community projects. Um, so you, you know it's getting used for a good cause. Uh, we couldn't do um, events like this. We've got more events planned. Um, and also the big thing for us is we want things to be sustainable. Um, you don't want to just run something and be a one-off. Um, so you really have to thank them for continuing to, to push and help the, the, the local sides. Um, because without that, like I said, we've had, um, I think, 71 on our first event, 71 participants. Um, and then the last two days, we've had over 40. And again, that, that would be 
you know, they wouldn't be able to access that. Um, so yeah, those links can't really happen if you, if you don't have the, the power to do that. And obviously the trial of fund allowed us to do that. Love it, yeah, yeah, it's brilliant.